Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £250 worth of 50ps to have a hunt through. Looking for the commemorative ones, the ones with more than face value. But, ideally what we want is one of the two we are still missing. All we're missing are Q, is Q Gardens, which is understandable. Rarest coin in UK circulation. The Holy Grail of UK coin hunting. We've got a whole page of Olympics there, followed by a second page of Olympics, followed by our second missing coin, Olympic Wrestling, my bogey coin, the coin I can never seem to find. I got stuck on this in the first book as well. And book number two is proving to be no different, although on the live streams I have managed to get two or three of them, unbelievably. But there we go. We've got all the other modern ones up to, and including Paddington at the Cathedral. And who knows when we start getting some 2020 ones maybe this year. We've got some stunners coming out. Well, without further ado, let's get into this bag. So the first bag I'll show you in real time. We'll have a look at what we're looking for. So we've got Britannia there. I'll be keeping Britannia's separate to the shields because Britannia's I look for the year 2008, which is the low minted year. 2015, I thought it was a 16 then. And then shields will look for the years 2009, 10, 11, 16, 18, but not 19. <laughs> they're, the not in, they're the years that were not intended for circulation for the shields, but also the year 2017 is a low minted year as well, worth keeping as well. But anything Olympic, um, Q Gardens. In fact, Isaac Newton. I haven't had an Isaac Newton in ages. We have got ourselves uh, an Ironside there. Cool design. I do like it, but it's a common one to find. And I'm excited to see who prevails. Paddington at the Tower or Paddington at the Station. Which one is going to be the lowest minted year? Obviously, my little counters are somewhat of an indication, but that's all. Only got one in the first bag. What we do now? Let's just speed the video up until we find anything. There's our first Benjamin Bunny, the most common commemorative 50p in circulation. Add him onto the counter. We've got counters tracking Benjamin Bunnies from 2017, Peter Rabbits from the same year, dictionaries, the two 2019 Paddingtons, Sherlock Holmes as well. Oh, almost missed it. Victoria Cross, the heroic act there. Another common one. There's a dictionary. You can get that one on the counter as well. Very, very common one. Although, well, Paddington at, there he is. Paddington at the cathedral. I think has overtake, overtaken Peter Rabbit. Or is very, very close, neck and neck. It might be, he might be slightly ahead now. Unbelievably, right? But will he overtake Benjamin Bunny? And when he does, if he does, will you believe that Paddington at the tower is gonna to be the lowest minted, minted uh, of the two 2019s as I believe? Who knows? Oh, we got a people act there. Representation of the people act. Cool design, but very common. And all mine that were in my hoard of coins whilst I was saving them until we had found vintage figures. All went back to the bank. We got Tom Kitten there, old crazy eyes himself, my favourite from the 2017 set. There's Paddington at the Tower, so the counterpart to Paddington at the Cathedral. We've got Mrs. Tittlemouse, my favourite Beatrix Potter 50p. 
Such a cool design. And over face value, the 2018 uh, 2018s were pretty low mintage, which is a bit of a shocker, to be fair. She's good, but she's no Miss uh, Flopsy Bunny. We've got the Commonwealth Games there, that's a more common one to find. We've got Sherlock Holmes. It's been a while since I found a Sherlock Holmes. Is that an indication that they could be lower minted than we think? Who knows? It's a cool design. I really like it. So the 2019s, I've not put, I don't put any values on them because they're still, um, this, we still don't know the mintage figures, and mintage figures make a, a fair bit of the value of a coin. The 2018s, I've started putting values on. Although take that with a grain of salt because they've been they've been in circulation for the longest period of time, so there are there's in my mind less of them have been taken out of circulation than say for instance Jemima Puddle Duck, where we've had a fair few years of that one to be taken out of circulation. Ooh, we've got our first Olympic. Holy Toledo, and it's a stunner. Olympic gold ball, wowee. To be fair, any hunt that you find an Olympic is a success. They are becoming so, so scarce. I remember back when I started my channel, I used to find five, six of them, and that would be, it would still be very good, but long of, long ago, long of the days where we'd find that many Olympics. What a corker. Oh, another dictionary for the counter there. And another iron side. There's another Benjamin Bunny for the counter. Another Benjamin Bunny there. Bit of a dry run there, wasn't it? There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> if only it wasn't Benjamin Bunny, though. All Paddington at the Cathedral, I'll add to that list. 2 1. What is that? I can't even make out a design. I'm trying to see if I can make out a year on it. Uh oh, I don't think it has a year on this side. What could that be then?
Just making sure I can't make out a tower because that would be very, very upsetting. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I might just keep that one just in case. Could you imagine if that was a Kew Gardens hoe? Lee to Lee Day. Victoria Cross, the heroic act there. There's our first 2017 Peter Rabbit for the counter. We're just missing Jeremy Fisher now. We've got another Victoria Cross Heroic Acts. Victoria Cross, the medal's there. Another common one. another Peter Rabbit from 2017. Get him on the counter as well. We've got Ironside there. We got Roger Bannister there. Haven't seen that one today, but it is a common one to find. Dictionary. Benjamin Bunny again. There's Paddington at the Palace. This is actually Paddington at the Palace. I keep calling Paddington at the Cathedral Paddington at the Palace for some unknown reason. There we go. Another Benjamin Bunny. Ah, oh, 2016's Peter Rabbit. So the 2016 set, with the exception of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, are all over face value. Not by an awful lot. Other, other than Jemima Polodoc, of course. But I do keep them all now. Very cool. There we go, our Jeremy Fisher makes up our 2017 set. We do generally make up the set. Most videos are very, very common coins to find. Well, all of a sudden, we are onto the last bag. Well, we can't grumble when there is an Olympic 50p in the pile of finds. But for those of you that made it this far into the video, you might be interested to know I have a Discord server. You can click the link down in the description to join it. If you're over the age of 13, that's Discord's rules, not my rules. We just have to enforce them. 
Um, alternatively, you can contact me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at the PO Box. Everything that's sent into the PO Box gets opened in a PO Box video. But we are rapidly coming to the end, and I think that's as good as it's going to get. But what I'm going to do now is have a look through the coins off to the side to see if I've got any of those key dates that we look for. Unbelievable. <laughs> no uh, NIFCs. No low minted years. Nothing, unfortunately. Not even that one that's made its way there. Oh well. Better luck next time you can't win them all. So, star pull. It's got to be this. What is it? What is it? Is that a tower? Is that a tower? No, that's not star pull. Star pull is gold ball. Olympic gold ball. What an awesome find. Well, as ever, all that leads me to do is thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.